I'm, I'm Walker with uh, 4.0 Solutions, Walker Reynolds. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here with Dan White from Opto22. So you guys will be familiar, you'll recognize uh, Opto22 and the Groove Epic. We've written about it on LinkedIn and, um, and talked about how it is a, a cutting edge technology. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Groove Epic is essentially edge, edge computing and process control in one all encapsulated solution. So it's it's the it's the perfect solution for your edge applications, and uh, I just wanted to give Dan uh, a, a chance to give his thirty second elevator pitch to talk about the the technology itself and any emerging technologies you guys are currently working on. Cool. Well, yeah. So this is the Groove Epic. We've got a, uh, a like you mentioned, it is a process controller uh, type PLC type of controller. So from a programming standpoint, on that end, we can do Codasys. Uh, which includes all the IEC 61131 platform, as well as we support legacy pack control, which we've been doing since back in the 1980s. It's also got uh, Ignition Edge embedded on the on the controller, so we support MQTT, Spark Plug protocol, also Node Red as well for any other database connectivity type applications. From a from a hardware standpoint, uh, dual isolated Ethernet ports. Uh, an HDMI port as well to be able to connect to a standard HD monitor, as well as two USB interfaces, which support things like you know touchscreen interface, keyboard, mouse, uh, some serial USB converter type devices, and more. Well, what's the what's the use oh. case for the screen on the Epic? Lots of things. So for one, um, we do have a built-in sc screen, as you mentioned, which has access to all of the I/O. Uh, the I.O. themselves as well have touch pads on them, so I can touch on the I.O. It'll bring me directly into the I.O. channels for that I.O. module where I can then, you know, toggle points on and off for troubleshooting and, and testing capabilities. Uh, I've got information on the I.O. modules, including wiring diagrams, module specifications, details. Uh, this, U this UI is also accessible via a web browser, so any device like an iPad or a phone or a tablet or a PC can also pull up the same interface. Um, we've again, you know, we can enable and disable the add-on add-on type softwares like Ignition Edge or Node Red through here. There is built-in information on uh, just about everything. All the documentation system docs are, are in here. We've got uh, all the system logs accessible here. Uh, you can enable, disable the control engine from here. Simple things like setting the IP address, which you know you used to have to plug in and wait for a boot request. Well, now you can just pop in here, come into here, and hit configure, and I can set my IP address as manual DHCP static, however I like. The uh, the I/O is the I/O configurable. Each I/O module uh, is specific to its type. So in, in this module is a DC output module. This is a DC input module. This one's a thermocouple module. Um, we do have f further developments for I/O modules that may have a, a mixture of sorts. Um, and we do have some that are configurable within their type. In other words, an analog input that could be either 4 to 20 or 0 to 10 or volt or anything. So do you, do you have any other do you have any other technologies that you want to talk about um, that are either in the pipeline or um, that that fit within the IIoT methodology? Well, we are developing uh, a future remote I/O module that'll be a lot more compact that'll allow uh, power over Ethernet and a mixed bag of I/O for you know smaller remote applications that will um, not require you know touch screen and a big large PLC type interface. As well, we're always exploring future partnerships with other software companies that you know may be able to embed their their software on our platform for, to allow for future connectivity to other devices, PLCs, and so on. Two software platforms that would be great to go um, on this unit. Uh, so imagine uh, if you had Flow running on the edge. And imagine if you had you package this with Factory Studio also. Um, so a just a couple of things I want to point out. So uh, I did ask a couple of questions before we decided to shoot the video, which is uh, there is a quad core processor on here. One of the common questions that comes up is, 
is the process control and edge computing isolated? The answer is yes. They're isolated through uh, core management. So the process control is managed through uh, one or two cores of its own that are isolated, and the edge PC is running on one or two cores that are uh, also isolated. This unit here, as we you said, $2,000 around, give or take? Roughly so, between two and 3000 for something like this. So that's the price point for this unit, which is incredibly competitive, an incredibly competitive price point. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see this, this remote I.O. unit as it comes out. Do you, have, you guys have any idea next year? Um, Probably within a year. So within a year, we could expect to see the new remote I.O. model. I just want to say thanks, Dan, to, for taking the time to talk yep, with us. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to see the Groove Epic, uh, you can either check it out on our LinkedIn page or go to opto22.com.